hello guys welcome back to my channel so uh, today I am making um, ground turkey rice and I went head on and got a head start on the right on the ground turkey here of getting it nice and chopped up I call this my ground turkey rice some people may call it um, fried rice and then some people may call it a dirty rice okay but you're gonna see how I'm gonna make this this is a recipe that I came up with one day because I had some ground turkey I had some rice I had some soy sauce I had some other things I can add to it and so I came up with this recipe so you guys come hang out with me for a little bit while I fit while I um, while I work on this here while I finish this this meal for ton for tonight okay so I'm gonna switch spoons real quick because I think that's chopped up enough so uh, what I'm gonna do Now I'm going to go ahead on and season this. So let's see. What am I going to put on it? Um, well, my usual. I've already taken out some seasoning, so I'm just going to put some black pepper on it. And I'm going to put some onion powder on it. And I've already cooked my rice. I cooked two and a half cups of jasmine rice. And I added some, um, some sazon to it to make it basically a yellow rice. So I'll show that to you. Okay. This is garlic. Oh my goodness. This thing is so hard. So I'm just seasoning up my rice. And of course you all know I'm going to put my veggie mix in there too. Okay, complete seasoning. Oh, I'm running out of complete seat. Well, no, I'm not. I have another one. I always buy them like two and three at a time. Okay, and then I'm just going to add some dry chives to this as well. Okay. Now, you all know about my veggie mix. So let me get a teaspoon and I'm going to add some veggie mix into this too. Okay. Then I have another one that I want to show you guys that I have as well. And as you all know, my hands are ashy because I've been playing in the dishwater. Okay. Now, I have another one. You know what? I'm going to get another spoon for that one. Because I may want to add that one. I don't want to mix them up together. Although it really wouldn't mean anything. Okay. This one here is another one. This is These are actually the, the small peppers that you can get in the supermarket. The little small peppers in the bag. Oh, yes. Okay. So, that's how I, I ground these up. And then the last time I use this, I put oil on the top of it. So I'm just going to add a couple of these in there. It's going to look like confetti rice when I'm done, y'all. Okay. Me and all my um, cut-up seasonings, right? I know y'all talking about me. Okay, so let's get this going. Oh, it smells good now. All this together. So I'm using ground turkey for this. I don't per I don't buy beef. We don't eat beef around here. But if I bring a good old steak home, Big Daddy will throw that baby on the grill. Don't play. Don't even play. Matter of fact, he's outside working on the patio now while I'm getting this together. Ooh, this smells good, y'all. So now, all the seasonings are all in it. 
nice and good. So what I'm gonna do now is this because I let my cook, I let my cook see. Because I let my meat cook all the way down, there's no juice, there's no grease, there's no nothing on my meat. But I just added all these vegetables to it. So I'm gonna put a little water on this. Hold on, y'all talk to yourselves. Hold on. Hold on. Help is on the way. So I'm just gonna put a little water on this. Because what I want to do now, I want all these flavors to marinate together. And basically, it's, it's like a steam. I'm going to let this steam with the water. I'm going to put the top on this. And then I'm going to let this cook for about another five minutes. Okay? So I'm going to put the top on this and let this cook for another five minutes. I may put a little, you know what, I'm going to put a little bit more water on that. Because I really want that meat to steam. Just a little bit. I can see the, ju the juice is at the bottom now. But I'm going to put just a little bit more on there. Because I really do want juice on this rice anyway. I mean on the meat. I want juice on the meat. Okay. I need to slow down y'all. I'm talking way too fast. So... I just need to slow down. It's been one of those weeks. I think this quarantine is just driving me to the Looney Tunes. But I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I don't want to beat that too fat, too hard, because I know that's a lot of noise. So, guys, I'm going to let this, um, the meat do what it do for about another five minutes. And then I'm going to show you what the rice looks like, okay? Okay, guys, let's look at our, our meat. Oh, it's drying out. That's good. That's just letting me know all the flavors have marinated together. That's what I want right there. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. So this is two pounds of ground turkey that I fried. After it was done, I added seasonings to it. I added black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, um, complete seasoning, and dry chopped parsley, not, not parsley, um, chives. Then from there, I added my veggie mix. Okay. From there, I added my veggie mix. And then I have another mix I also added to it as well. These are the... Uh, little peppers that are found in the bag in the um, in the vegetable department. You know, they look like little red red peppers, um, red peppers, orange peppers, and um, and yellow. Okay, they come red, yellow, and orange. So I just take those and put those in my food processor, process it up, add oil to it, and then um, I put it in, in a jar. Okay, like I do the rest of my other vegetables. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, since this is nice, oh, it smells so good. Since it's nice and done, I am going to transfer this into a bowl because now I need to um, put my rice in here. Okay, so hold on. Let me transfer the meat mixture here uh, to a bowl. Okay, so now I transferred my meat into a bowl. And so my next process that I'm getting ready to do here is add butter to the pan here. I turn my fire down. Food police, I use a lot of butter for this. Y'all gonna be all right. You gonna be all right, okay? So I add butter. And then I'm going to start adding my rice. Now, my rice is not going to look like normal rice. And I'm going to tell you why. Let me get a spoon for that. So let me raise my fire up because I really want... I'm, 
getting ready to start frying my rice. Okay. And um, hold on. Let me see. Put you right there. With this, I'm just going to add just a little bit of vegetable oil to it as well. Okay, so let me turn the fire up because I really want that to get going. So I made some rice. And as you can see, the rice is orange. The reason why the rice is orange is because I put this here in it, Saison um, Tropical in it, okay? Sometimes I make this dish with just plain white rice, but y'all know me, I gotta season everything. Then I got a cabinet full of seasonings too, yeah. So now we get, I'm just trans, transferring this rice into here because we're gonna fry this rice now. And then after I get it to where I want it, we're gonna add the meat back into it. So again, you guys can call this dirty rice if you want to. I just call it my turkey fried rice or my turkey rice. All I know is that my family loves it. Whenever I say I'm going to make some of this here, they love it. Okay, I think I got all of it. Okay, that's all of it. Okay, so I have my... have my fire a little high here because really what I want to do to this here now okay let me see I'm gonna transfer spoons guys I want this to actually fry start frying let me chop this up I'm sorry if, if you guys can hear that close your ears close your ears guys close your ears because I need to fry this rice oh Okay, come on hands. Don't give out on me. Don't give out on me. So now what I'm doing, I'm actually frying the rice in butter. And I put lots of butter in this dish, y'all. Lots of butter. Because you know your girl like butter. Now if I had some fresh um green onion I add green onion to this as well but because my fresh green onion is in my veggie mix I'm not going to too much worry about it and if you guys ever want to try this you have to stay at the stove you can't just walk away because your rice will start burning because you're frying your rice if you're going to walk away there's a piece in there I don't want if you're going to walk away turn your um, stove down turn your fire down now right now I have my fire on a, on a medium and I'm just trying to chop up some of this because I made this rice earlier so I it gave my rice enough time to just settle, which that's what I want it to do anyway. Okay, let me get my testing spoon. These are my testing spoons. I don't know if y'all can see them or not. But I have a container that I keep. Um, oh, I better not put that there. I have a container that I keep plastic spoons in whenever I'm testing my food. Okay, so I'm going to taste it and see if I, if I like the taste. Yeah, that's good.
Mm, I can really taste that butter in there too. Okay, so now what I'm getting ready to do now, I'm gonna turn my fire down and I'm getting ready to add some soy sauce to this. So let me turn my fire down. And what I'm gonna put in this, I'm going to put light soy sauce in this. And of course, it's gonna change the color of the rice, that's fine. And then also to this, I did, I'm going to add some Golden Mountain sauce as well. This is a sauce that I get in a seafood market in Valencia. So whenever I go down to Santa Clarita, I'll stop there and get me some, some of this Golden Mountain sauce. And it tastes really good. For those of you who like soy sauce, if you put this on your food instead of soy sauce, yeah, you really like it. Okay, so now... Let me attempt on mixing this up, and I have to do it slowly because of my hands. Ooh, it smells so good. I'm like Emerald. We need some smell of vision. I'm just mixing this all up, all over, all in there. Get in there. Get in there. Okay. All right, now let me taste this. See if I like the what where it's at so far. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good, y'all. Mm-hmm. Okay, but I'm gonna add a little bit more of this golden mountain to it. Mmm, that's good. It's good, y'all. It's good. Okay. And you know what? What the heck? Add a little bit more butter to that. It won't burn. I got the fire down low. Okay. Ooh, that's good, y'all. Yes. Okay, so... It seems like it's not frying. It is. I turned the fire down. I just need to mix this up. And my hands is, oh yeah, they're going. Oh, my, my Lord. Come on, don't give out on me. Come on, fingers. Get to moving because we hungry around here. I got both of my boys on the patio. They out there working. I got to feed these men around here. Okay. Let me taste it. Mmm, yeah, that's what it is right there. Mmm, okay. So now, guys, mmm, that's good. I got it just where I want it. So now, I'm going to add the meat back in there. Juice and all. And whenever I cook this meal, this is like two days worth of meals. But with the boys being here all day, I know my big boy probably going to be eating some on some of this in the morning. So from here, I just take my meat and I stir it in there. And I have my fire down low while I'm stirring this. Because I have to stir slow. And most of y'all know why. And... Basically, guys, this meal is done. I'm going to turn the fire down a little bit low. I'm going to put the top on it so all the flavors can marinate together. But what you see right here, this is it. So y'all can call it what you want to call it. I call it my ground turkey fried rice or my ground turkey rice. Some of y'all may want to call it a dirty rice. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. But it sure is good. And my family loves it. 
Okay, so that's basically it. I'm gonna put a put the top on this, and um, I'm just gonna let this basically smother and let all the flavors marinate together. Okay, so that is that's it. Turkey fried rice, Lisa style. This is something that I made up. One of the menu, one not one of the um, recipes I came up with. Cause hey, we had some ground turkey and some rice one day. I said, huh. Let me see what's in my kitchen. I'm going to come up with something. And this is what I came up with one day. So this is it. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today while I make my turkey fried rice. Until I see you again and until you see me again. Keep loving. Keep doing what you're doing. Remember John 3.16. For God so loved the world. That he gave his one and only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Alright. I'm putting the top on it. And I'm going to let y'all go. So you can go and make some turkey fried rice. Holla back.